Hi there, this is the last part of this um, Dali Uberon upgrade. Um, this speaker here was the one with the nasty ding in the corner. My wife uh, uh, repaired it to a, a good extent. Uh, paint doesn't quite match, but it's pretty good. It's better than it was before, if you remember it. Um, this, uh, these capacitors here uh, on the crossover, I took them out. Um, they were originally these here, just um, non-polar electrolytics, Chinese made, and these are monocore. I think I don't think they are Chinese made, but a lot of these supercapacitors now are actually from China, actually. So I, I don't know, but these obviously massive in size compared to these, and this is what this one. Has actually got this one's got the original um, capacitors unmodified so I just um, plugged these in tried them out and um, the difference between the two is not night and day it's not night and day um, so you know if you're expecting to replace the capacitors for some good ones in there you won't find a night and day difference but there is a difference um, this one that I've upgraded here has got less distortion uh, sort of in the upper range less distortion and the mid range as well is less distorted slightly than this one this one sounds harsher rougher and some distortion on there whereas this one is uh, is smoother with no distortion as for the actual uh, frequency of the trebles I think they're probably about the same I don't think it's it shifted well it wouldn't have shifted the uh, frequencies because obviously I'm replacing these are exactly the same value as these here except obviously the voltage on these is 250 volts where these are 100 volts so um, that's the only difference they're exactly the same value though so I wouldn't expect there to be a shifted frequency or you know more trebles here what I'm thinking of doing in the future actually is to um, take the make um, a baffle for the back there make a little where the speaker terminals are make a plastic print a plastic cover there with a little hole in so the the wires can come out then have the um, the actual uh, crossover and the terminals outside of the speaker area here um, so that I can fiddle about with the values. What I was thinking of doing actually is putting a very, very uh, low turn, low resistance pot in the place of um, one of these um, one of these resistors that uh, alter the sensitivity of the treble. Doing things like that, I don't know if I can get a variable capacitor um, to try that. I'm not sure, but um, got to be careful when you're dealing with the the treble side of things because if you put anything too low a frequency in there you can easily burn the coil out on these um, tweeters uh, the woofers they don't care the woofers can get high frequencies uh, really low frequencies they don't care obviously they don't like dc or anything close to dc but uh, woofers are fairly robust um, as long as they're not overdriven but uh, the tweeters are very fragile things that's why tweeters are always blowing because um, you know if you feed something uh, too low into them uh, they just can't take it the voice coils just melt and that's it um, no more tweeter um, so yes yeah, so you have to be quite careful with it but what I'm going to do is get some very high quality uh, wire wound pots some Bourne's pots or th something and put them in there and tweak it and see where the optimum uh, sensitivity is on that tweeter because it's pretty good actually I must say it's um, it sounds pretty good it doesn't sound harsh it sounds really quite smooth compared to this side so what I'm going to do is put these in this side as well in the left side and um, yeah just just enjoy them for now and then when I get some time um, I'm gonna um, get these pots and use these this idea that I've got of um, tweaking the values of some of these sensitivity resistors and see if I can get a nice balance although I must say I can't really fault the sound so far on these they are excellent speakers Dali have just 
just superb. They really are. I don't know what Cure Acoustics are like. Um, thing is, with Cure Acoustics, uh, they got smaller woofer, so I wouldn't have thought the bass was as good. But the thing is, with Cure Acoustics, they have very, very small footprint on the front, but they're extremely deep on the back, so I, I don't really like the depth so much. I don't think they're that going to be that stable. But, um, yeah, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I might even possibly take a crossover out of uh, one of these and, and put it in there to see just what it sounds like. Um, because the crossovers on here have got different values on there. I wouldn't have thought it would do any damage to the tweeters because it's not going to be... The crossover on the um, Zensor one is uh, 2,500. The crossover on this one is uh, 2,800. So there's not much of a difference there. So yeah, but the components in the Zensor seem to be a bit higher, higher value of capacitors and also higher value of inductors. So, and these are excellent. They really sound good, these, incredibly good. Um, so yeah, the Zensor one is something I would definitely go to if I was on a budget, absolutely. Um, these speakers are, are very good as well. They're very refined and they're smoother and there's less distortion on these than the Zensors. But, um, you know, as always, you know, diminishing returns, you can spend a lot more on there. I mean, I like the look of the, um, the ones above these. I forget, I forget what they are now. The Rubicon obviously is above it. And there's another one that I was looking at earlier that are really, really good. Um, but I don't know what the, the difference would be between all these, whether the extra cash that you would put into, um, you know, better the Zensors is really worth it because uh, the Zensors are about half the price of these uh, Uberons. And I would say really, you know, definitely it's not worth um, necessarily getting an Uber on unless you've got, um, you know, some spare cash floating around. There is, the Uberons are slightly better, but by how much, I, I can't really say really. Um, but yeah, I like the drivers in the Uberons. I like the, the tweeters, you know, uh, the components in the crossover, the same quality, same make of, um, of rubbishy capacitor, the sounders. Um, but there we go. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you more on this, but uh, this for now is the end. Uh, hopefully um, I'm expecting some uh, CD players in um, soon that I'm gonna do some videos on. Uh, there are cams and they're TD1541 based CD players because um, although I'm a massive fan of the TD1540s, uh, and I do modifications for them. I used to do modifications for the 1541 as well. Um, when I did a head-to-head -head between a Rotel and um, a Philips CD104, Rotel RCD855 with a 1541 and um, a CD104, Philips CD104, both NOS, you know, I could just about hear that the 104 was more musical and and nicer to my ears. Um, so I chose the 1540 as my um, DAC of choice, but there are drawbacks with the 1540. And one of them is the fact that it doesn't have a digital output, um, doesn't support digital outputs, whereas the 1541 does. So anyway, this should be interesting. Um, the RCAM got some excellent um, CD players as well as Cambridge, Cambridge CD1, CD2 and CD3, they're like gold, they're really good um, CD players. Um, but the RCAMs are pretty good as well, uh, ones that I'm getting in. Uh, the Delta 70.2 I'm, I'm getting in, hopefully that should come today. Um, and also I'm getting a RCAM Alpha. Uh, they both got um, uh, 1541s, I think the Delta's got a single crown 1541 so it's, it's pretty good but I've seen the circuitry inside of those and uh, it looks pretty impressive and, and the circuit diagram as well for those looks pretty good but anyway I'm diversifying here in the subject but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe more videos on hi-fi stuff coming up soon not many musical instruments in at the moment um, but uh, that could change I don't know Thank you for watching.